three decade legal battle ends today. The Supreme Court will this afternoon release its decision on Peter Ellis's appeal just over three years after his death. He was convicted of child abuse in 1993 after being accused two years prior while working at the Christchurch Civic Crash. Nigel Hampton KC represented Ellis in his first appeal in the 90s. He says Ellis clung to his belief he was telling the truth. It enabled him to remain positive throughout what must have been an extraordinary ordeal from his point of view. And it was still there when I last saw him uh, but a few days before he died. The appeal rests on the concept of tikanga, or mana in death, and could set a legal precedent. The historic winter snow has passed, but the impact will continue to be felt. Much of the South Island and Lower and Central North Island experienced snowfall yesterday, blanketing Dunedin, with flurries reaching as far as north, uh, far north rather, as Topol and Stratford. White and Upper woke up to snow-covered hills, with smatterings also settling on the valley ground. Local Federated Farmers President David Hay says it's put a dampener on hopes for a spring flush, with farmers in desperate need of some sun after an especially wet winter. An ex-policeman has killed at least 37 people, most of them children, in a gun and knife attack at a childcare centre in northeast Thailand. Police say he then killed himself and his family after a manhunt following the attack. He'd been sacked from the force in June for alleged drug use. Six people, including police and match organisers, are facing criminal charges in Indonesia over the stampede at last weekend's football game. At least 131 people died in the disaster. Hundreds of fans tried to flee a stadium riot, and the firing of tear gas by police led to a crush worsened by several locked exits. Police say some will be charged with criminal negligence causing death. The suspects include three police officers over the use of tear gas. ACC delays have contributed to thousands of concussed Kiwis going without the care they need. AUT analysis of more than 55,000 concussion-related ACC claims between 2016 and 2018 has found 12% were not seen by a specialist for over a week. Two-thirds didn't receive follow-up care and a quarter waited more than two months to be seen at a concussion clinic. You can still vote in the local elections. While it's too late to get a postal vote in, you can still place your vote in bins at council offices, supermarkets, libraries and transport hubs before midday tomorrow. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.